my name is uh, Lituju Malingani. I am a writer, photographer, and a filmmaker. And I think I'm here at the Ake Festival because of a short story called Memories We Lost. Uh, besides that, I generally just get on with life with uh, very little idea of what I'm trying to do, really. So I think the, the sort of like interesting thing, I think, with the short story is that because it's set in a village, people read it and, and kind of come up to these assumptions that only the African continent, or at least only the sort of like traditional African con society, has these ideas about mental illness. And I think that's completely incorrect. I think that even in a setting like the city, uh, which is supposedly very civilized, people still find it very hard to deal with mental illness. Um, so I think the kind of like, for me, the, 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 real, the real conversation is not really about the African society's sort of like, a, um, you know, it's not how they view, you know, mental illness per se, but it's also about how the different societies do that because I think it's a problem in any society. Uh, from, you know, depression to um, schizophrenia, you know, I think it's a real problem. And I think stories like my story and, and works by other artists and writers are beginning to open those conversations up because I think for quite a long time there has been, you know, a, a kind of like a, a way of dealing with problems in societies which is not to talk about it. And I think this sort of like works open those conversations up and I think that's, that's brilliant. Look, I think generally the portrayal of mental illness in African stories has been, um, has been in a way quite revolutionary for me because I think a, a, lot, of, a lot of what has been written has been important in, in, in what I read and, and how other people engage with it. But also, I'm, I'm, I'm very against the idea of asking writers to write the difficult subjects because that sounds to me like you're telling what the writer to do, right? So I think I appreciate the works that exist that writers have written without having been told what to do. But I am against the argument that we should be writing more about it. I think writers should be writing about whatever they want to write about. And then we can have the conversations about what they've written after the fact and not before. Um, so, I mean, the, the Cannes Prize came to my life when I was really um, trying to write fiction. I, I had, I had for, for a long time, I had been a writer of um, non-fiction, creative non-fiction, uh, but also writing about art and, and music and, and movies. And, and I've, you know, I, have, I had completed a, a script that I want to shoot. Um, so the Cannes Prize has sort of like shifted my, my focus on from kind of like wanting to, to make a, a film to now realizing that perhaps the two things that I should be doing is working 50% on the novel and working 50% on the feature film that I want to shoot. So it, in that way it has really helped me to kind of like have confidence in my own writing when it comes to fiction, which I think that's what the Cannes Prize is for, is that any prize is for that, that you get the prize or you get nominated for it and you find yourself in a position where you feel encouraged to write more because writing is not easy and any encouragement is, you know, is welcomed. So I'm, I'm taking part in a, in a panel which was uh, supposed to be now, but I think things have been a little delayed and I think the, the panel will revolve around mental illness and the representation of. Um, uh, through email exchanges with the people that I'm in a panel with, we're kind of like exploring the idea of talking about uh, Tsitsi's work. Uh, Bessie had uh, Casey Lodeke, who's from South Africa. So those are the kind of work that we're looking at. But also we are interested in looking at photography, which in South Africa there has been a lot of young photographers exploring um, depression in, in extremely uh, beautiful visual ways so that that's going to be I think part of my contribution because I think um, you know I think the sort of like representation of mental illness in literature is informed by other art forms and I think those are important to, to look at both photography and filmmaking and artwork mm -hmm.